Cyprus, this story changes hour upon hour. Jim and I talked about this earlier this week. We're going to revisit it now right. that it's Friday, right. going into the weekend. You know, I, again, Jim, I said the story is changing literally yeah, well, by the hour. You know, and one of the reasons why it's changing is, is that people should understand why are the Europeans willing to crush the Russians? I mentioned the Russians because anybody north of 100,000 euros is presumed to be Russian because that's a lot of money to keep at a bank. And the Russians, we know, money laundered effectively right. with this bank. Right, it's Russian money. Right, we know that that's who the big, uh, that's the big depositors. Right. They're getting a little bit extra vig, trying to hide it from people. Cyprus sits on the biggest, as so I did this with Dan Digger, sits on this gigantic natural gas field. The Europeans, if they can get that natural gas field, no longer fear the Russians cutting them off. So the Europeans are playing hardball. Now, also, the IMF uh, has had enough. The IMF is, willing, is very rich, and they're willing to give them money. But no one wants to see the depositors crunched. It was the prime minister willing to make a bet against his own people and willing to sell them out in order to keep that Russian money coming in that was what got us to this point. I urge people to read two different pieces. Paul Krugman in the New York Times today about how this should just be Iceland. It is closing. It recapitalized. And the Wall Street Journal saying, look, just make it so anybody under 100 thousand euros is made whole and right. and just crush the uh, capital structure for the bank. I think that they all make sense. Right. And the Cyprus banks have done everything that has been asked of them when they were asked to go to the table and buy Greek sovereign debt. They did right. it. So they've done what they've been asked yeah, to do. Yeah, but the country itself is a rogue country. And I think that a lot of people want to extrapolate. A lot of people say, well, wait a second. I've never given them a haircut. Well, you know, we never gave people a haircut on uh, the money funds. And yet there was first reserve and people got a haircut. And I think that the sanctity of the deposit is not really what's at issue here. What's at issue is a country that has no regulation on its banks. By the way, you could say, the, well, where were the European Central Bank? Right. Why weren't they regulated? Right. And the answer is they are really bad over there. And their incompetence is, is horrendous. All of Europe. We continue to see the only issue that they really care about is my friend Matt Horwin's endlessly talking about rights for the street is carbon. They care about uh, yeah, they they they, 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 they care about green issues. That's that's their hot button. They're willing to sacrifice themselves on, on a, a green engine. But I come back and I say it's not going to be Lehman. It's going to be bad for Europe, but it's not going to be that bad for us. Now the one thing that you and Dan Dicker talked about was noble energy as yeah, being a, a way to play this. Uh, noble wins no matter what. Noble. So again, folks, if you're looking at Cyprus, you're trying to figure out, you know, there's got to be some way to make some money off of this hot mess of Cyprus. It looks like Noble is the issue. Oh yeah, that's Go the Go back, winner. look at, at Dan Dicker, look at Jim's talk about Noble, look at Noble Energy, because if you're really looking to play this this mess of Cyprus, Noble is the way to play it.